Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today is Tuesday, and that means we're using Plaguelicious Ubel. So, so far on the whole replacement thing, Plaguelicious Ubel has not even got one comment stating that it should leap. So it seems like this deck will be here for a cool minute. And I told it on mine, I enjoy this deck. It's it's one of the more interesting decks. It's kind of like uh, looking at it from a different point of view of synchroing from just, the, you know, the norm of Supervised Ubel, which is interesting. Um, you know with the whole, um, with the whole, uh, what am I trying to say? I mean, the inclusion of Mrs. Tomato is fine. Um, you know, like I said, I don't mind it in this deck in particular, especially since I'm only doing one round, you know, unless, you know, we go ahead and call it a rematch, but most of the time it's not, it's just one round. So, uh, you know, I totally don't mind doing that. <sighs> Yu-Gi-Oh would be, Yu-Gi-Oh would be so much better if fucking... Backward and this. Wow, I drew them. I drew them all. I draw them all. I drew them all. Yeah, I guess I have to stall out with Terra right now. So I was thinking about you know, I'm just getting shitty hands lately. I got shitty hands on daily duels. I'm getting shitty hands now. God, this sucks. You know, I'm 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 gonna drop this down. I'm gonna drop this down to like two. But Mystic Tomato, Mystic Tomato would be great right now. Mystic Tomato would be awesome. Just I didn't get it, so. But I'm I'm starting to actually like you know how decent it is as a card. He's not, he's just sitting there looking at you, Bell. Is that okay? You want to mess it? You know, Mystic Tomato can summon you, Bell, Armageddon, Naive, Malicious, Plague other Mystic Tomatoes, um, Phantom of Chaos, so it has a lot of targets, you know. It's just not Yubel, like, you know, what people would assume you would just be summoning, and then, you know, Yubel would be stuck on the field, and then that'd be a stupid play, so. I'll go ahead and get y'all effect down, and we'll go ahead and summon Terror, which is an awesome play. I totally don't mind summoning Terror. I mean, situation still... Still not the best, because I still need to get malicious in the graveyard before I really do any awesome plays. Because I would love to be summoning some Beals right now. Beals? Beals? His name is Beals, so the plural form of Beals is Beals. Hmm. Oh well, facts. So I'll go ahead and destroy your one monster, but seriously. Drawing multiple of these sucks, and like I said, I was thinking about dropping it down to two because I was worried about it clogging, and now I think I got my answer. <laughs> it clogs. Bad. Oh, it's Ghost Tricks. Alright. Well, this isn't a good matchup then, because, you know... Oh, my God. Oh, that's irritating. I hate when my opponent fucking banishes my shit. I mean, I hate, I hate when shit banishes my shit. You're gonna hit me directly for 1500? That's fine. I mean, was that really worth your fucking Book of Moon? Uh, I'm just gonna set this and effect destroy your mummy again. Go ahead. And this time you won't even be able to activate Book of Life. I mean, yeah, because I don't have any more monsters in the graveyard. That's it. And I said I wouldn't duel against Ghost Tricks again, didn't I? Forgot about that. So go ahead and turn you to defense. We will go ahead and almost have an Armageddon Knight. Effect. Uh, uh, I mean, he'll get <coughs> uh, he'll get killed by terror, but he's all important because I need to get that malicious to the graveyard. Now, since malicious is in the graveyard, I can get started with my plays, which is awesome. So I'll wait till next turn, though. So I'll go ahead and attack you for fourteen, which will be cut in half because the mansion's only seven. Sure, I don't care. Sure, I do not care. Uh. Effect. 
You want to fucking waste your fucking lantern just to, for it to get wiped? I do not care. Go ahead. And, and didn't I say I wasn't going to do ghost tricks anymore? I could have swore I did. I do not know why people want to play this fucking deck. It's not even good. Please stop book of lifing my shit. That's getting really annoying just to summon your fucking little mummy back. This deck is not good. This deck isn't good. His plays aren't good. He's just lucky he's going against a fun deck like mine. If he was going against something competitive, he'd be getting the shit slapped out of him. Why? He doesn't even want to go for the attack. What a puss puss. What a puss puss. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Okay. No, it is. It also is. Ew, no, your deck is. It is. It's annoying. What, you think your bell is annoying? Sorry, that monkey bell is giving you such a hard time. The struggle. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and summon plague. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna kick the shit out of you, so. There are four more monsters in the destroy all face up monsters. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lance on tear. Uh, what's it say? The Carly's def. When this card is destroyed, the target is destroyed, destroy this card. When this, when this card leaves the field, destroy the card. Alright, so, we're just... Uh, there we go. Totally didn't mind that. Is it banished? I'm trying to read. When this card leaves the field, destroy and banish a target. When that target is destroyed, destroy this card. No, it doesn't say anything about when the card is destroyed, banish it instead, so. Uh, I will go ahead and activate Plague Effect. Put this shit on top of the deck. Go ahead and bring back Plague. Mally Effect. I'll go ahead and banish this Mally. Go ahead and summon another Mally. No, your, your shit's annoying. You're already reaching the peak of annoying against me, so. It's just, I'm an out annoying you. I'm not gonna back down, fuck you. You vanish, you go to the grave, and we'll go ahead and summon Beals. Beals! Rawr! Beals, go ahead and attack. You wanna drop another lantern? Go right ahead, I don't care. The car, I thought my deck was annoying. <laughs> What pl what annoying plays have I done? I haven't done anything. I haven't book a life none of your monsters. I haven't fucking needle sealing you. I haven't book a moon you. I've done nothing of the sort. All I've been doing is just playing you bell. The struggle. I don't know what to tell you. My entire hand was fucking escaped from the dark dimension. So that's all I gotta say. It's a struggle. Sorry. Alright, maybe, maybe you should learn not to play fucking ghost. I mean, I think that's the moral of the story. Not that you should get better hands. I think it's the moral of the story. Just don't play ghost tricks, because they're not good. And they're just pretty much just an annoying deck. They're not even good. You know, if they were actually decent, then I wouldn't mind. If they actually won shit, I wouldn't mind them existing. But if you can't even win anything, then what's the point? Where are you going to go? Into fucking slacker magician? No, you're gonna go into your pony. Alright, for each ghost trick, so it's 12, it's for turn. Hold on. Hold on, let me read your shit. Alright, so. Uh, once per turn, during either player's turn, you can attach one serial target and then cut it in half, and then. Okay, what does this do? Once per turn, during the battle phase, you can act on it by target one ghost trick. Once you control, change that target to face down position if you do change one face. Okay, you can target my face damage and blah, blah blah. And what does this do? What do these do? Once per turn during the battle phase, you can act on these sex and I'm going to monster your whole your opponent cannot flip monsters and blah 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 blah. blah. I'll space that. 
and I will space that. Draw. So is he still 1800 attack? This doesn't give them an attack. It's not 1800 anymore, is it? Is it still 1800? How, how 1800? How is it 1800? Isn't it only 1200? Because you only control one ghost monster. You can turn track for each ghost trick monster card. Oh, ghost trick card. Oh, that you control currently on the field. So now what is it? Uh, this is ghost trick monster. Now it's only 14. Okay. It's only 14, so even if you cut me in half, I will still be stronger than you. So, go ahead and attack. Go ahead and use your effect. Now you only take 100. Okay. Okay. Oh, now, damn, and then you take the 50 because Mansion cuts it in half. <sighs> so, are you going to go ahead and kill yourself, or what? Are you just going to sit there on the field? What are you, invincible or something? Okay, I'm confused. Why aren't you going to the graveyard? You're kind of just sitting there. Why are you still on the field? That's what I want to know. I attacked you, I destroyed you, yet you're still sitting there on the field. You took the 50, now destroy. Okay. Go ahead and get your effect. Okay. At this card, center girl, you can. Oh, that's optional, so I guess he chooses not to activate your effect. Alright, that's fine. Go ahead. Don't know why you didn't choose to get your effect. Guess you didn't have any ghost tricks when it hit the grave. I don't know. Yeah, you did. You had ghost tricks. I just don't know why you didn't do it, so. Fuck it. Your effect was optional. If it was mandatory, I would have told you. It was optional. You choose not to do it, so. As soon as I killed you, you should have said effect, so. Uh. Alright, so he's still just gonna do absolutely nothing. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Ha hu. Ha. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Attack. So I know two of these are felt spells because you're an idiot and you decide to reveal it to me, so. Oh, it was Mary. I was like, wonder what that other one is. Awesome! That's great! Why? So you can get fucking wiped by terror? This is just a great episode of a fucking a vitamin Y. Yeah, I know. You don't have to fucking remind me. Terror effect. Destroy your monster. Go ahead. So now I know those are just two filth spells in your hand, so... What is this last card? Set a monster. Alright. Oh, Alright, let's have fun with this thing. Since I know those are two fell spells in your hand, I can go ahead and... Go... Activate escape. So I'm back plague. This is also escape, alright. And we can go... Mally effect. Go ahead and banish this Mally to get the last Mally. How many scrap dragons do I run in here? Just one? Hmm, okay. I was thinking... And then you only target one monster upon control. Oh, just one monster upon controls. Alright. I should be able to go for that. We'll go ahead and sink eight. So... You go to the grave, and you go to the grave, and we will go ahead and go into scrap dragon. Uh... Ch -ch 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 -ch. Uh, when the... When the target is... When this card is when the target is destroyed, so scrap. So nope, it wasn't wasn't destroyed. So we'll go ahead and go scrap effect. We'll go ahead and get rid of this for your damn felt spell because it's annoying. Then I will go ahead and activate call the haunted. I will bring back Mali. I will go ahead and go plague effect. 
Pick a card, put it on top of the deck, go ahead and bring back Plague. Go ahead and sink for eight. Again. You get banished, and we will go ahead and go into uh you. Then go dark end effect. I will lose <coughs> my attack to send you to the grave. Cause then say face out, that's a face up. No, just says once per turn you can target one once your opponent controls, lose five minute attack and send the target to the grave, so send you to the grave. So like the evac button, like boop, get out of my face. And then they go attack, 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 and then now BGG shake my hand. Even though it's not, because you're fucking using annoying ass ghost trick, so despite you banishing up my bells and shit, I still pulled off the win, so. Okay. Send you to the grave. Send the grave. Send okay. And then that should be game, because I know, because you told me that the last two cards in your hand were filled spells, because you shouldn't have told me that. doesn't matter how shitty your hand is, the element of surprise is always good to keep in mind, because I could have thought they were fucking more lanterns and shit. I wouldn't have overextended like this. I didn't know you, you, that the last two cards in your hand were filled spells, so you shouldn't have told me that. So always keep the element of surprise. Always, you know? Cause, I mean, if he would have not told me that, I'd been like, oh, he might have like another spec, he might have a specter, he might have another lantern, and why go overextend? Why? So like, my 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 going off could get blocked, and then during the end phase, Terra would go ahead and wipe and kill all my all my hard work. No, no. So as soon as he said, nope, my last two cards in my hand field spells, I was like, well, you got your field spell, two field spells in your hand, you set one monster, time to go off and beat that ass. So obviously, I did. So. Alright, well, that was fun, despite me drawing all those freaking uh, cards I didn't want to draw them, so, still. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Ubel Xyz. Thanks for watching.